In this video, I will show you the simplest and fastest solution I have for automating lead generation. With this solution, I'm able to search for the people that I want to target on LinkedIn and then automatically get a spreadsheet that contains all the information of these people as well as their professional emails. Now, this solution automates a total of four tasks. The first task is extracting the results of a search that I perform on LinkedIn. As you can see here, I performed the search for growth marketers in California, United States. I got a list back and my goal is to extract each one of these results, basically all the information that is available on each one of these um, profile cards here. Then the next task is to open up each one of those profiles and extract all the information that is available on the actual profile page. And most importantly, identify the company that the person currently works at and find the LinkedIn company profile URL for that company, right? So usually you, you have to click on that icon on the logo of the company and that will redirect you to the company profile page. And this is task number three. My goal from the company profile is to find and extract the domain of the company. And then task number four is to pass the person's first name and last name as well as their company domain to an email finder tool such as hunter.io uh, in order to perform a search and find their professional email. Now to automate these tasks, I need a set of tools. And the primary tool I need is a web scraper that can successfully authenticate to LinkedIn and safely scrape the data that I want to extract. For this, I'm using Phantom Buster, which specializes in LinkedIn web scraping and offers a range of scrapers, uh, also called Phantoms, that can extract data from pretty much any page and section on LinkedIn. And if you want to sign up for a free trial, uh, I'm going to put a link for that in the description below. For the first task that I want to automate, which is extracting the uh, list of results from a LinkedIn search, I'm using the LinkedIn search export phantom. This will automate the entire process. Also, if you're using Sales Navigator, you can use the equivalent for the Sales Navigator, which is Sales Navigator search export phantom. It will do the same thing. It will extract the search results. And then I can pass the results to the LinkedIn profile scraper, which will open up each one of those profiles and extract all the information that is available on the actual profile page, including the uh, URL to the profile page of the company that the person currently works at. So that's the LinkedIn profile scraper phantom. And then by having that, uh, that company profile URL, I can launch the LinkedIn company scraper phantom and that will uh, extract all the information that is available on the company profile pages, including the domain of the company. Now, something important to note here is that these phantoms will automatically get triggered one after the other. This is also known as phantom chaining. So this one will get triggered for each one of the results that gets retrieved by this phantom here. And then this one will get triggered for each one of the uh, profiles that is scraped from this phantom here. So it's an automated process. You don't have to trigger them manually. And then uh, just to note here, if I'm doing this with Sales Navigator, I wouldn't have to do these two steps because Sales Navigator um, contains all the information that we need. Um, it, it already contains the company uh, domain, basically. So you don't need to uh, launch these two phantoms to extract that. So then we're moving on to the last step, which is um, automate the process of searching for the professional emails. And this can be done in several ways. The easiest way to do it, it is using the, uh, the Phantom Buster Professional Email Finder Phantom. So this is a built-in email finder tool that Phantom Buster offers. And uh, however, you can also use any other email finder tool because from these phantoms here, you're gonna get a CSV file, you're gonna get a spreadsheet, let's call it, which will have all the information that you need to pass to these email finder tools in order to perform an email search. So for each person, you're gonna have the first name, the last name, and the company domain. And once this step is performed, then the result is a spreadsheet which, con which contains uh, the person name, their last name, the professional email, and tons of other information. Uh, I'll show you here an example. This is all the information that I end up after performing 
uh, these steps, right? There's so much information about the, the, the person that gets extracted in each one of those automation steps. Now, the best part is that all these steps here can be further automated with a single Phantom in Phantom Buster, which is called LinkedIn search to emails. Or if you're using Sales Navigator, it's Sales Navigator search to emails. Now, this, these two Phantoms, they're actually called flows because they contain multiple Phantoms in them. Um, they automate all these steps here, right? So you provide, let me actually show it to you. So here in my Phantom Buster account, if I go to dashboard, I'm currently running the LinkedIn search to emails Phantom. And all I had to do here on the setup, so I'm gonna go to the configuration of the Phantom. I had to connect my LinkedIn profile, which uh, this is done by um, installing the Phantom Buster Chrome extension. So you just go on Google, you search for um, Phantom Buster Chrome extension. You uh, find the first result there, you install the Chrome extension, and that's how Phantom Buster can connect to your LinkedIn, and this is just a session cookie. Uh, Phantom Buster does not know your uh, your account credentials, so it's perfectly safe. It's just a session cookie, which means that it can access the current session um, that you're logged in with. And um, yeah, so that's how it connects. And then on the searches to scrape, this is where I provide the, the URL of the search that I perform on LinkedIn that contains all the profiles that I want to target. So basically I go to LinkedIn, I perform this search, and then I copy the URL of that search and paste it right there. And then finally, I select the uh, way that I want to discover emails. So here I can either use the built-in uh, Phantom Buster email finder service, which actually is powered by Drop Contact, or I can use um, any of these other ones here. So Hunter.io, Drop Contact, or Snow.io. So this automates the email finding for you as well. And it uses your Phantom Buster email discovery credits, which if you're on the standard plan, it's uh, 500 credits per month. That's it. And how this works is, as you can see here, it works 24 seven and it spreads out the, uh, the scraping that it does throughout the day so you don't get blocked by LinkedIn, right? It takes into account all the LinkedIn uh, rate limits and it ensures that it, um, it properly splits out the actions so it looks as natural as possible. So I've, I've launched this for 24 hours now and it extracted t uh, 80 results, which include all the information that I need here uh, together with the, uh, let's find it here, uh, the professional email. There it is, professional email. And if I want to extract these results and add them to a spreadsheet or upload them in my cold email automation software, I can very easily just click here on download results and this will download a CSV file, which I can then upload to any other tool or I can import uh, to a Google Sheet as I've done here. Also, another important thing is that these email addresses are actually verified. So if we search for nominative, there we go. So there is a column called um, qualification from drop contact. And this tells you whether the email is verified or if it's a catch all address. And you can see that all of these are uh, marked as nom nominative pro, which if we search on Google, there's uh, there's this address and it means it's a, it's, a, it's a signification by drop contact that this is a verified and correct business email with a validity rate of 98%. And if it's catch all, then it's a catch all address, which uh, you can decide whether you want to um, reach out to it or not. It could be a spam trap in many cases, but uh, you can see here that all of these are actually uh, verified. So that's great. So that was an overview of the simplest and fastest solution I know for automating lead generation. And I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on any of these steps, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, your feedback is always very helpful. And with that said, I will see you on the next one.